part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Frights Reanimator and Black White Tokens. Jonathan was on the play for this game and started off by laying down a planes and casting a Doom Traveler. Nick then used a Copper Line Gorge to cast a Faithless Looting and draw and discard two cards. Jonathan played an Intangible Virtue on his next turn and then attacked with his Traveler for one, dropping Nick to 19. Then Nick laid down a Forest and cast not one, but two Birds of Paradise. Jonathan then used the Lingering Souls to get himself two Spirit Tokens. He then attacked with his Traveler again, dropping Nick to 18. Nick started off his next turn by playing a Black Cleave Cliffs and then cast a Tracker's Instincts to find himself an Avacyn's Pilgrim, which he went ahead and put into play. Jonathan then put a Sword of War and Peace into play. Then before attacks, Nick flashed back a Ray of Revelation from his graveyard to destroy Jonathan's Intangible Virtue. Then Jonathan attacked with his two Spirits, dropping Nick to 16. Nick played a Worm Coil Engine from his hand on his turn, however Jonathan got rid of it with an Oblivion Ring. He then attacked with his Spirits again, dropping Nick to 14. Nick then flashed back a Tracker's Instincts from his graveyard and found himself in Other Birds of Paradise. He then played a Lingering Souls of his own to get himself two Spirits. Jonathan then equipped his Sword to one of his Spirits and attacked with that Spirit along with his Doom Traveler. Nick chose to chump block the spirit with his Birds of Paradise and then took the one from the Traveler going to 13. In post combat, Jonathan played a second Doom Traveler. Nick started his next turn by flashing back his Faithless Looting. He then flashed back an Unburial Rites as well to return an Inferno Titan from his graveyard to play. When it came into play, he used to kill both of Jonathan's Doom Travelers along with his unequipped spirit. When the Travelers died, Jonathan got two more spirits to replace them. Jonathan then played another Intangible Virtue on his turn and then attacked with his team. Nick chose to chump block the two unequipped spirits with his spirits. He then took a total of 7 damage from the other spirit with the sword going down to 6 life and Jonathan gained 1 going up to 21. Nick started his next turn by putting a Razor Verge Thicket into play tapped. He then attacked with his Titan and killed one spirit and did 1 damage to the other one. Jonathan chose to block the Titan with his spirit that had a protection from red. Then post combat, Nick played another Unburial Rites from his hand this time to return a second Inferno Titan from his graveyard to play. When he came into play, he used it to finish off the one spirit and do two damage to Jonathan, dropping him to 19. Jonathan played a second Sword of War and Peace on his turn and then attacked with his one equipped spirit again, which Nick decided to chump block with his birds. He then put an Evolving Wilds into play before passing his turn. Nick then attacked with both of his Titans on his turn, immediately doing six damage to Jonathan, dropping him to 13. Jonathan blocked one of the Titans with his Spirit and then took another 6 from the other one, going down to 7. Post combat, Nick played another Birds of Paradise and then played another Faithless Looting to draw and discard two cards. He then flashed back another Unburial Rites from his graveyard to return an Elish Norn Grand Cenobite from his graveyard to play. At the end of the turn, Jonathan sacrificed his Evolving Wilds to find himself a Swamp. He then played an Isolated Chap on his turn and flashed back the Lingering Souls from his graveyard to get two more Spirits, however they died immediately from the Elish Norn. He then equipped his second sword to his spirit and attacked, however Nick chump blocked it with his birds. Nick then attacked with his team for lethal on his turn, giving him the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this match, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay in the annotations at the end, along with links to my blog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.